What's up? How's it going? This is ADSB. I got it on two hour graphs. Message rate. Craft seen and tracked. The number of. So we've got 10 so far. It's only been on about 30 minutes. So. And 40 50 mile nautical mile range here averaging about 30 nautical mile range the signal level average is about between 6 and 12 DB minus CPUs not maxed out but It's working. Overall, it's about uh, half. This is uh, 45 Celsius. But again, it's just come on. So, doing about two to three kilobytes per second max. Send and receive. So it's not using a whole lot of nothing data. About two, three kilobytes per second data. And that's to upload to to sync. Uh, there's the sync data. These are all the stations that it's synced with. Oh, there's one in Lancaster. Um, over here, Waxhaw. So uh, what they do is these are these are all the ADSB stations that are uploaded to ADSB Exchange, and uh, my reports have to match. If they if they match with four others, then they'll post it on the ADSB site. Um, so, not a huge area, but it's covering Chester, which was my goal. So, that worked out pretty good. I'm very happy, and it's actually just sitting here on the shelf. Um, it's not even outside, so... That's that's remarkable compared to what I was getting with the regular SDR. Um, added a filter. Added a filter and uh, a low noise amplifier, and uh, it really made a huge difference. I mean, a huge difference. That's pretty awesome. Pretty pretty awesome. I'm pleased with that. Once it gets a match, once it gets a sync, once once my station picks up an airplane or something, it will post that data to an exchange server, I guess, and it has to match with four of these others and if mine picks up the same thing and it matches with four others it'll post it here and that is why I believe this is very accurate and that's why I believe it to be very accurate because um, it, it has to match with four other receivers and that's also why ADSB Exchange has unlisted aircraft like this one, the C-17. It does have a tail number and a little information, but there are some that do not. There are 
many that do not and uh, for those that don't have tail numbers and they're unlisted or whatever you still get to see them here's a drone even though it's unlisted it doesn't have a tail number I don't see any that don't have tail numbers currently uh, but even though they're unlisted don't have a tail number or whatever um, at the same time see this one says no call sign and there's several um, it'll show it there this one says no call sign it will still show it there it does have a tail number it just doesn't have a call sign doesn't have much information um, but we can still see it even though we don't know you know what exactly it is most of these have a little information enough to enough to see what's going on but um, I think the drones cool it's at 65,000 feet 65,000 feet it can probably see an area it can probably see an area I mean a humongous area at 65,000 feet if it were a laser and it was shining on you you'd be able to see it from four or five states away that's, that's pretty cool so there's that thought it was cool stay radioactive